Boom, guys, listen, we're back. And today we are going to talk about how getting jacked makes you money, okay? I'm going to tell you the secrets, the inside scoop. Listen up, okay? This is important stuff. I'm getting questions about this all the time. I'm getting questions about this all the time. So I thought I'd break it down for you guys, okay? Look, first and foremost, here is... Wait, let me move my face. Or actually, I can just put it on top, look, like this. <laughs> look at that. Now, nah, but for real, just to show you guys, this is what I currently look like. You might not see it. I'm wearing this sweet-ass polo shirt right here. Uh, you might not see what it looks like right now, but this is what I look like currently. It was taken like a day ago. Um, just for some context, so you guys know that I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, insane. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the fucking... It looks like, uh, you know, the deep from uh, <laughs> the series The Boys with the gills on the side. Yeah, I'm like Aquaman, you know. Anyways, let's get into it. Huh? The first steps to all of this. Getting in shape. And I'm not talking about just building some muscle. Okay, I'm not talking about just building muscle. Anyone can do that. Anyone can do that. A toddler can do that. Getting in shape and really good shape. It's the best way to start making money, right? And you might not like that fact, but here's the truth. This is the truth, okay? Um, there are two basic things that you need to master before you choose any vehicle for wealth. What is a vehicle for wealth? What, it's essentially what way you decide to go at it when you're trying to make the money, okay? So whether that be... Uh, for example, fitness coaching, whether that be you selling a uh, course on how to cook big cookies, whether that be, uh, I don't know, there's like tons of them. SMMA, you look at your Iman Gods, all these gurus online, right? They can tell you about it. Anyways, sales, whatever. Um, consistency and discipline is a part of everything. Anything like that. Consistency and discipline will play a part in that at some point. And so, without these two, and many other factors, of course. Of course. Of course there's other factors. Without these two, though, businesses fall apart. Okay, maybe it's the CEO. He doesn't like... For, because for like a, a business owner, the biggest thing, other than managing the people around, is to actually get people in the door, right? And so, if there's no consistency and discipline towards that, then that business is going to fall apart. So this is an uh, implicit part of an, an, an intrinsic part of business in general okay so fitness and training it builds this and i'll share exactly how that how it does that the three like three ways just three examples three simple examples for why this is so important i'll share that in a second okay first how did i go about doing this how did i get jacked how did i get in good shape and why what is done for me so far so i used the lessons I learned from my military special force training, I should have put the picture up there. I have tons of videos on this on my channel, by the way, but I have a of picture of that too. I used lessons from there, from the military, and I started training more frequent. So this is basically a tutorial on how to get jacked, which I have a lot of more tutorials on this on the channel, of course. If you're not subscribed, by the way, what are you doing? Honestly, what are you doing? There's a subscribe button. I think it's down there right now. All right. Go click that right now, okay? There's an unmatched value on this channel. Anyways, back to the video. I started training more frequently, and then I developed the frequency system, which is well known now, uh, well known now uh, among my audience, which all you guys know about. It's the best system for training. Uh, absolutely phenomenal results. Now, building my training using frequency first and then adding volume and intensity on top of that has been a game changer as well though as adjusting the rest times that's something you get um, into at a later stage but it's the best way of training and getting jacked so with this method we decrease how much we need to recover our recovery times decreases over time so we can get more done work done across a week than someone who uh, you know using the old methods of training right we're changing the now we're elevating the standards all 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 standards across the board so we're also reducing the fatigue we get from training and we lower the recovery times as mentioned uh but not just the like the thing that the recovery does is not just give us more uh, progress but it also gives us more energy right because the, the reason we have to recover is because like our performance goes down but when we decrease our the need for recovery we have that spare energy and this is something that's going to make you money 
right? Because you'll have more energy to get work done, okay? I'll get back to that in a second. But yeah, that's why the frequency system is so good. Um, look, 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 okay? What happens as a cause of this? Like, your body is a business card. If you haven't realized this, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay? Think about it. You judge people. Everyone's judgmental. I'm judgmental. I look at someone. Hey, he's fat. Okay, he doesn't have discipline. Hey, he's in shape. Okay, he does probably have discipline, right? Doesn't, it's, it's not, you know, um, 100%, but most likely. Like, who would you be? Like, if you were to have two people, one is fat, one is not fat, who would you think had the most discipline? Hey, the guy who's in shape. Of course, right? Of course. So it shows discipline, it shows consistency, and your ability to commit to something, whatever. I, there's a saying, there's a quote, I don't know where it's from, but I remember I heard it. Uh, don't trust a man with soft hands. Don't trust a man with soft hands. So, and you get, and the one way to not get, have soft hands is do some high ups, do some push ups, to get a bit gritty in the gym, because uh, you develop these, these are calluses, calluses, right? You know what, who else is like calluses? Ladies, okay? Ladies love calluses, let me tell you guys. So that's another benefit, not just making money that comes from training, but ladies love calluses, these things right here. So guys, guys if you're using like training gloves, get those off immediately, get that shit out of here, throw them off the balcony. Okay, throw your training gloves off the balcony immediately. You need to get these, okay? Because everyone, everyone, everyone wants, like these cows, they mean something, okay? It's just like scars. Scars mean that you went through adversity and you got out the other end. You got, you got hit and you would survive. That's what scars mean, right? This is just the same. This is scars, essentially. All these calluses. You know what the ladies do? The ladies, they usually, when you, 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 what you do, right, with the ladies, this is lady advice. Shh, don't tell this to anyone. But what you do with the ladies, you, you get them to, you take your hand, right? And then you match their hand with yours. And then they, if you have calluses, unless you're a little pussy, then they'll start touching your calluses and they'll be completely, you know, I don't need to say it anymore, okay? I don't need to say it anymore. You guys get the picture, all right? Anyways, back to the cash. The real work starts when you want to stop. This I uh, qualifying by Ronnie Coleman. Now, why is this so important? Why is this so important? I'll get back to it in a second. But hey, you can probably imagine already why this is, important, is so important for when it comes to, you know, getting money, right? Because we're, it's not always going to be fun. Let me tell you. By the way, this is the business card scene from American Psycho without in the right corner. That's a very good, good, good scene. Uh, your body's a business card, right? But anyways, just want to show that for reference. Like, that These are the three benefits I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about them more in detail. The, be, the, the benefits that you'll see in business by having a great physique. Not just an average physique, a great physique. The consistency of action will carry over, your work rate will improve, and opportunities will come your way. Let's talk about it, let's talk about it, let's freaking talk about it, guys. Consistency and discipline are probably the two most mentioned word on my, words on my channel, but there's the two most important ones too, I guess. The, look, look you, how many times have you seen this thing? The easiest way to 10k a month. Sorry, I'm messing up with my camera here. hope it's not distracting you, but hey, listen up. The easiest way to 10k a month. You, you see this all the time. Oh my God, do this for 10k a month. Do this for 10k a month. Listen, when you get in shape, you don't need the easiest way. You don't. So all these things, all these easiest way to 10k a month, you can just fuck that right off, throw it off the balcony as well as you, with your training gloves. Because uh, with consistency and discipline, almost any plan will work. There's so many people out there telling you how to make money. There's so many people. Uh, if I were to tell you one thing right now that should make money, it's going into sales, okay? Because you need sales too. I posted about this on my Instagram. Go follow my Instagram, by the way. By the way. There's one thing you need. Uh, I posted about this. There's two things you need. You need to learn how to uh, do sales and you need to learn... Um, Integrity, that's the two things you need, okay? But that's, you know, digression. With consistency, discipline, almost any plan will work. I'll tell you what plan, uh, well, you know, actually might work, but like stuff uh, that probably won't work, okay, you, this probably won't work. You take used, uh, used crocs, you melt them down, and you make yoga mats, all right? Maybe, maybe it's a bad idea, but I swear to God, you could probably pull it off with consistency and discipline, but it might not be that 
uh, you know, much of a money maker. But that all depends on the cost to, you know, how much it costs you to sell it, to make it, all that stuff. But you can probably pull it off. You can probably have the consistency to find a way to melt down a Crocs, a pair of Crocs, and make a yoga mat, which you can then go and sell on Amazon. I swear to God, if you are consistent and disciplined, you can make that work. But hey, um, no guarantees though for money. That's why it says almost in, in italics right there. But other than that, anything, anything, whatever you want, go ahead and do it, okay? So then you can, don't, you don't need to sit there and, you know, mentally masturbate upon all these easiest ten, uh, easy 10K per month videos anymore. You can just go out there and do it and actually get it. That's what's so amazing. So right now, I'm actually, I'm actually telling you how to actually make 10K per month, I guess, just by saying, telling you this, if you think about it. If you didn't think about it, go back and rewind 10 seconds and then you'll hear it. Now... Um, like I said, you'll have unlimited options for this. Once you get started with whatever method you choose, using consistency discipline, you'll also realize that it's not always that fun. And so the consistency and the discipline you built will keep you on the path. It will keep you moving towards your goals at a steady pace. Because it's not like... It's not always going to be like this, okay? Maybe you hear stories about this happening. Boom, one day is there zero cash. Boom, then, then there's like a gazillion billion dollars of cash. That's not that likely to happen, okay? It probably won't happen for you. If you're disappointed by that, sorry to break your heart. But hey, there's a fix right here. And it's right here on the screen. It's called consistency and discipline. And that's, that's going to be your, your vehicle, essentially, towards getting to where you want to be. I swear to God. Now... Work rate. Work rate is so important. My God, is it important. Listen, I, let me tell you this for, first and foremost. There's this guy called Alex Homosi. I don't know how well versed you guys are in, with all these names, with all these uh, terms. But I'm, anyways, I'm, there's this guy called Alex Homosi. And he always talk about work rates and putting in not just double the work of someone else, but 100xing it. And, you know, just working, doing more, being able to put more, make, do more out, in, input and get more output. He talks about this a lot. Now, he's a hundred billion gazillion dollar guy. He has a mon bunch of money. Who knows, right? But you can go check out his videos. They're great. I absolutely recommend you do. Now, when you get in incredible shape, not just average shape, we're talking incredible shape, which isn't that difficult. For example, use my frequency system. You can check that up in the link below, by the way. Uh, there's a link below down there. You click that, you go in and you learn about the frequency system. I also have free guides on this. You can go check my Instagram. There's a free guide there. But anyways, when you get in incredible shape, and uh, both physically and mentally, your work rate increases. Okay? Your work rate increases. How much work, how, like how often, how much uh, you can all you can bump that up, okay? You can then you can hundred x, you can hundred x the effort of everyone else. Everyone else while they're going to sleep, you can just keep working, boom. Everyone else while they're all tired, you'll not be tired. You can keep working, boom. Like these small things, they add up, they matter, just like Alex Ramos talks about. Now, I get told this all the time, Nico, your drive is insane. You just don't stop working. You just don't, you just stop. Like, are you not tired yet? No, I'm never tired. Never like, and you're not allowed to say that either. We, I'm, you know, I've mentioned that on the channel multiple times. It's no, you're not allowed to say that. You, you have to remove it from your vocabulary. I should be doing ten push-ups right now, just for saying that. Okay, but I'm going to continue with the video just to give you this value instead of wasting your time. Um, when I can train. The way I do, and the way, of course, I have in the past, because I've been doing this for quite a long time. I've been training for a decade, uh, three years using my, and developing this frequency system, of course. Then, then sitting down and performing tasks like this with a nice, warm coffee after chasing, uh, after use, uh, like having a nice, warm shower, you know, all comfortable, that becomes easy. It becomes easy to do that, okay? Everyone likes to say that business is difficult. It's easy. It's so easy. Okay, you get to sit in a chair in a nice warm room. I have the AC on, I have a controller, I can put AC on, I can turn AC off. I have a chair, this chair, I can adjust the height of this. How incredible is that? I can adjust the height of my chair. Incredible, so easy it is. I can adjust the, the things, so we go back and forth. This is easy, okay? We have everything we have needed, the fingertips. You know what's difficult? You know what's difficult, guys? Try being out in the, in the minus 25 centigrade cold. Try that. That's difficult. You know what will cost you? You know what will seriously cost you? If you don't develop this, if you don't build an insane physique, 
and build your work rate, build consistency, build discipline, you know what that will cost you? It will cost you hard work. This will become easy, right? What we're talking about right now, that will become easy. What will become difficult is you being stuck in a rut, doing exactly the same as everyone else, exactly the same as you did before. That's going to be difficult. Going and doing the same thing over and over, stuff that you hate, that's difficult. That's going to take a toll on your mind. Doing this, getting in incredible shape, that's, that's, the, that's going to be like, you're going to go do, do that and then everything becomes easy. So know that. Think about that. All right? So that's why the training I do, for example, is so powerful. Because we get benefits like this. We get to develop our mindset, develop consistent, develop discipline at a different level than with different systems. And that, in turn, makes more money. Everyone I tell this to entrepreneurs, they're like, oh my God, this is crazy, right? Because you get also with the way I've set up my training, it's like you get more time in return for more results. So you get like, you would up the scale for everything, boom. And then you also have more time to make money, which all these entrepreneurs which I work with, uh, they absolutely love that stuff. So that's just another thing. Um, but yeah, opportunities. An open door. This is number three here, okay? I want to say, though, that there's so many more benefits to getting an incredible ship and getting jacked. I want to say that. There's, like, like probably a five-hour-long video I can make in one go where I list all the opportunities and I list all the benefits and everything that's you know goes well with it and all the stuff that come, that's good, okay? I can make a five-hour-long video. I could probably, you know, go talk about it until I die, and I probably will. But anyways, when you're in good shape, you become self-dependent. You become self-dependent. You don't need anyone else. You get all these benefits. You look good. Uh, and you also, like consistency, discipline, everything that goes with it. And you also get one or more business possibilities included. For example, becoming a PT. For example, l- teaching people how to clean up their diets. For example, you get all this stuff included when, when, while getting jacked, while getting girls, this is like, if people, when people come to me and they're like, hey, I want to make money, but they don't want to get a chip, I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? This is the easiest way to do it, okay? Because you learn every lesson you need for you to actually succeed with whatever, whatever vehicle. As I mentioned in the beginning, you don't need the easiest way. You can just do it anyway, and you'll succeed. God bless. But when it comes to opportunities, knowing, knowing that we don't need anyone else, that we're self-dependent, and that we have, we actually have like business ideas with what we've done in the gym so far and with our training. Like we develop self-reliance. Oh, no, it's all full screen. I should probably, hey, my beautiful face. Damn. If we develop self-reliance, right? And if we train properly, then we can become so sure in our ability that we know. We know that we'll succeed. We, like most people, they do guesswork. They do guesswork. They, they do this thing. They guess Maybe they, cho- maybe they didn't get in shape, they didn't use my frequency system, and then they went out and they, they chose the easiest 10K per month. Now they're sitting there, they're hoping that this will work. They're hoping that they can pull this off. Listen, if they would just, you know, get in, phys- like in peak physical condition, then they wouldn't need to hope. They would just know that it's going to work. They don't need to hope anymore. They don't need to do guesswork. It's 100% guaranteed. Unless they mess up and with the consistency discipline, then they'll, they'll succeed. It's that simple. It's that simple. And this has an insane effect on your opportunities. Opportunities and doors open. I'll tell you about that in a second. But people like people. Listen to this, okay? This is, this is okay. This is something 100% original from me. You can take this, okay? Take this and write it on your wall. Write it on a piece of paper. Hang it above your wall, okay? This is what self-reliance and this is what, why this is so important. Super important. People like people who doesn't want or need anything from them. If they do, the only thing that solves that is money or a reciprocal service. Okay? Think of dating. Think of girls. You can't want or need anything from them. This is the best. Okay, this is another dating advice. I've so far dropped two dating gems in this video. Two golden nuggets of information. I should probably teach you guys more about dating, but I'm not going to, okay? Um, Not yet, at least. Hey, comment below if you want to see that. But anyways, um, girls, 
For, I'm going to use example girls. girls, they don't want you to need anything from them. They don't want... Okay, the best way to go about talking to girls, getting girls, is to talk about complete random shit, okay? It's just, just yep, 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 okay? I do this all the time. It's funny. It's hilarious. You take them home. You have a good time. God bless, okay? Um, you're not being a douchebag. You're just being you. Because you don't need anything, okay? You're just yourself, which is amazing, right? Hopefully. If you're in good shape, then that's the, you know, that's, you know, the best thing to do. If you're not in good shape, hey, then you have something to fix, okay? Then maybe being you is not enough, which, hey, you can solve that issue, right? If, like, listen, look at this. If they do, if you do, then the only thing that solves that is money or a reciprocal service, okay? So, what does that tell you, too? It is that... Like, okay, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll bind these two, the last two, the two points, okay? Listen to this. This is so super important. I should charge you for this, but hey, I'm going to tell you this, okay? Um, in weight fitness, you look like someone who don't need anything. You look like someone who actually knows how to take care of themselves, who knows how to go out there and take it what they want. And you're able to provide that service right back if needed, because you now know how to go from A to B with your transformation, or you know, hey, I can help you clean, your, clean up your diet, hey, I can help you drink more water, hey, I can help you do this, do that, do that, all these benefits that you've gotten from your uh, training as an absolute savage, and putting in the work, you now have that, uh, that as a service that you can provide to people if needed, but you don't need it because you're already in good shape. And you know that this sort of stuff is going to work out because you've been following exactly what I'm telling you in this video. Now, look at this, okay? Look, if they do, the only thing that solves that is, a, is money or a reciprocal... Can I mark this? I don't want to click anything wrong. It's money or a reciprocal service, okay? You see that. That's a cost, okay? That's a cost of this. Of this. Now, with fitness, you look like someone who doesn't need anything. And so, if you don't look at someone who needs anything, then you won't have to pay this cost. So, you're actually saving by getting in good shape. Okay, you see that? Because you don't look like someone who needs anything, and then people won't demand anything in return. Because you, look, you, you, you don't want anything. You don't need anything from other people. You're completely self-reliant. You know that the stuff is going to work out. And so, you're saving. You're saving money. All right? Get that into your brain. It's so important, this stuff. My God, it's important. Well, so, like, listen, whenever I meet someone, I meet a lot of people all the time, okay? People doing better than me a lot of the time, right? And uh, they know, as well as I know, that I don't need anything from them, okay? I don't need anything from them. I don't need anything. I don't need them to I don't need a shout out. I don't need cash. I don't need anything. I don't like, listen, if I didn't meet them that day, no problem. No problem. I just go back and be me. I just go back and do what I do. Do what I do best. Because I know I'm so sure on my path. I know. I don't need to hope. I'm not doing guesswork, like we mentioned. And so we can go into any encounter without any expectation. And that's how people open up to you. That's how people, that people want to know people like that. You don't need them. You, you're just yourself. And people relate to that. And this is not, not just for girls. This is for you know, acquaintances. Making good friends. This is social advice. You don't. You can. You can't go in there and be like needy for anything. You can't be opportunistic. You're just yourself. This goes for meeting anyone. So I, I, when, these days, when I meet someone new, I don't need anything from them. I'm just. I'm just me. And that's all that you need to be. But you need to be in good shape. And you need to be jacked. You need to be no, not not just in good shape. You should be in phenomenal shape. And I'll tell you another reason why you should be in uh, phenomenal shape. Because right now your standards are set right here. They're super low for what good means. So we want to elevate that standard. Guys, if we don't elevate the standards, then we don't have something to aim for. And once we stop aiming for something, we don't reach that. that like, that's why we set goals, right? You guys know this. So we're going to elevate the standards. The current good, the society, the society that we live in that has set the standard for what's good, that's not enough. That's not enough. Break out of that. If you, all, like, if you thought that that was good enough, then why are you even here? Why are you even looking at this video? trying to, to, to solve this issue, this money issue. Because right now the standard is, hey, you can go back, you can, you can do this, you can get a job, that's good. And of course, like, I just want to say this, that's no problem. I've done it in the past, I've done it for many years. But you're here for a reason, right? You're here watching this and you're saying that, hey, I want to elevate my standard, I want this standard right now. And so if you're gonna do that for this, then I'm telling you, hey, elevate your standard for your body too. Elevate your standard for what's good across the board. So get in phenomenal shape. Don't just get in good shape. 
That's my message, okay? Listen, you apply this, you become a freak, you become a savage when it comes to your fitness, your mindset improves, and you're gonna make more money in return. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and God bless. Boom!